Shalom, beloved. Our verse for today is the Act of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 24. It reads, But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. It is Easter Monday. We have just celebrated the Paschal Mysteries, the deep mysteries of our salvation, Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. And today, St. Paul recapitulates the major events which we have celebrated and are still celebrating. This happened on the Pentecost Day after the Holy Spirit had come down upon the apostles, people gathered around and filled with the Holy Spirit, Peter opened his mouth and spoke to the people. And from verse 22 of Acts chapter 2, we we'll read, People of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves also, also know. This man handed over to you, according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in his power. Certain things are important from this verse. First of all, what happened to Jesus appeared a manipulation, machinations of the human will. But here, if we listen clearly, we we'll see that Peter makes it clear that what had happened were according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God. Here, therefore, we find an interplay between divine design and the human will. God has given us free will, actually, to choose good and to avoid evil. However, when the human will, out of its freedom, chooses evil against the divine design, God then makes all things work unto good for those who fear him. This is what has happened to Jesus, and this is what happens to us. When people plan evil against us, let us not return evil for evil. For God, in his infinite power and wisdom, makes all things work unto good for us, because we are his children following the footsteps of Christ. Again, Peter makes clear, Jesus rose from the death because it was impossible for him to be held by the power of death. In Jesus abides the power of indestructible life. So when his physical body was put to death, this power which is in him shot forth, destroying, defeating the darkness of death. And he came back to power. Jesus has come to communicate this power of indestructible life to us. At baptism, we get it. And as we grow in church, we continue to renew, rekindle, fan into flame this fire. Especially as we have done in the celebration of the Paschal Mysteries. And so, even if this physical body goes down in death, our story does not end there. We are going to rise with Christ. Dearly beloved, as we have celebrated in these mysteries of Pascal, may we make sure that our lights are always burning. That is our power of indestructible life. So that after and after everything here, when this body goes down in death, we may rise with Christ to enjoy the glories of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Continue to enjoy a blessed Easter.